Ladies and gents, boys and girls, I finally got Dead Space Remake, the Epic Store version, to work with the Luke FZ FSR 3 frame generation mod. Um, first and foremost, what you're going to need to do is go find your Dead Space Remake on your hard drive. So for me, it's over here. And then all the files starting with SL, so SL common all the way through to SL reflex. Just go ahead and delete that. Then we're going to be using a quite an old version of the mod. I find this is the only one that works with uh, the Epic Store. Dead Space has FSR 2.1, so we're going to be using 210 folder. Copy these files, paste them into your Dead Space Remake folder. We're done there. Now you want to get rid of your Epic Store overlay. So go to C Drive, Program Files, x86, Epic Store, Launcher, Portal, Extras, Overlay, delete anything in this folder. And that's how you get rid of the Epic Store Overlay. Then what you want to do, you want to get uh, close MSR Afterburner and uh, Rivertuna Statistics because if that's open, Dead Space Remake will not launch. Then go back to the Epic Store and now I'm happy to say Dead Space Remake will launch with the FSR 3 mod injected and you'll be getting extra frames and you'll be able to play this game on a GTX 1650 or any GTX card at ultra settings at much improved frame rates. So what we're waiting for here is just for that CMD box to open up and then the scripts to run, there we go. And so the, the FSR mod is loading into the game or, or hooking into the game. So we're just going to wait for the game to launch because obviously we want to be able to see what our stats are. So once the game is launched, there's a little bit of ghosting and, and artifacting as you launch. But once we're at the settings menu, uh, then you actually want to switch on MS Afterburner so that we can catch our, or so that we can um, monitor our frames, etc. So once we pass this screen, there we go. Once you're in this screen, then you can go back into Windows and then just open up MSR Afterburner. It's not just going to start straight away. You need to open it, minimize it, open it, minimize it. Same with Rivertuna, open it, minimize it, open So my OBS crashed when I did that little trick to get MSR Afterburner working. So just to reiterate, guys, my settings are... Uh, I am on a GTX 1650 laptop. Generally, I play on FSR 2 um, low or medium, and I get 30 to 50, uh, yeah, 30 to 50 FPS. But with the FSR 3 frame generation mod, FSR 2 quality ultra, I should be getting no less than 50 to 70, 80 even frames, no matter which scene I am in on those settings with this mod. So let's just load into any old scene over here. And what you're going to see is the game looks so much nicer and runs so much smoother. Um, I'm sure high-end cards will see a nice little bump from this. But for low-end cards, I actually think this is probably the best result. Because my game feels so much smoother, it runs much better, and it looks incredible. So there we have it. Ultra settings. And as you can see, we're getting about 75 FPS and the game looks better than it's just about ever looked for me. So there are some uh, uh, traversal stutters when you load into the scene. As you can see, there's a bit of a drop there. But there's not too much ghosting and considering the fact that these are ultra settings, I am on a GTX 1650, the game runs pretty well. And whatever little bit of ghosting there is, is not really all that noticeable because the, the game is quite dark and stark. But guys, there we go. That's how you install the FSR 3 frame gen mod into the Dead Space Remake, uh, the Epic Store version. Or should I say, the Shit Store version. Anyways guys, I hope this video has helped. Have a good night. People like you. Cheers.